stuck in there and fall off, you want a rider to be either all the way on or all the way off. The worst um, accidents in the world are getting dragged, getting stuck to the horse. So if a rider were to fall and his foot were to get stuck in here, this would pop off. Um, in order for it to work properly, it has to, when the rider's riding, it has to be on the outside. And as a sidewalk or a leader, that's a, a way you can really help your instructors, is if for any reason the student puts their foot in like this, you know, take it out and change it um, so that the rubber band is on the outside. When you are putting tack together or working with it, you can tell when the, when the stirrup sits on the saddle, the rubber band stands to the front. Um, and so then when you put your foot in, you always put your foot in like this, and the leather turns this way, and the safety features on the outside. So that's a peacock stirrup. This is another type of safety stirrup, and it's called an S-shaped stirrup, for obvious reasons. And again, it's just so that it gives a little extra room so the rider's foot would come out. And again, the safety feature goes to the outside. Okay? So um, this Western saddle, basically, when we got in, I just had to modify it. I took the, the regular Western stirrups off, put English stirrup leathers and S stirrups on it so that you'd have the safety features. Any questions so far about all that? or things that you get to saddle. This one's called the girth. In English, in Western, it's called a cinch. cinch. This is the pad, easy, and this is the saddle. Okay, see how well you're doing so far? <laughs> okay, the saddle has a front right here. It's called a pommel, P-O-M-M-P-L, pommel. The back is called the cantle. The seat is called the seat, yay, okay. Um, an English saddle has little tiny skirts. These are the skirts. If you lift up the skirt, there's a very important part to the saddle, and this is the stirrup bar. This metal bar goes all the way through the leather and is attached to the saddle's tree. The tree is usually made out of metal or wood, and it's the framework of the saddle. It's the really strong part. So the stirrup bar goes all the way through to that. The stirrup bar has a safety catch here that can, that can swivel and go up and down. You always want it in the down position. This is another safety feature, is that you know, in an accident, if somebody was tangled, this would come off. The whole stirrup would come off. So whenever you're tacking or working with stirrups, you want to pick up the skirt and make sure that the safety catches on those stirrup bars are down so that the stirrup could come off if it needed to. So say it with me. Pommel, handle, seat, skirt. Stirrup bar, safety catch. These are the stirrup leathers. stirrup leathers. These are the stirrup irons. Good job. Okay. These are the flaps. In an English saddle, these are called the flaps. This is a stirrup keeper right here. Keep you all nice and neat and tidy. These are knee rolls. That's where you put your knees. If you pick the flap up and look underneath, there's another big um, flap called the sweat flap because this is what goes right next to the horse. So that's the part that's gonna get all the sweat. Underneath here, there are billets. These are three billets. This is what attaches to the girth. Normally in English, you use the outside to use the first and the third billet to buckle to. Occasionally, depending if you had a saddle fit, different, and you wanted the girth to be just a little bit more forward or about backwards, you would use either the front two or the back two. But traditionally, you just use the first and the third. I actually ended up having to ride home on the middle one one time because I was out um, trail riding in the mountains and my horse actually broke both belts. And I had to come home on the third belt, so it can be done. Okay, somebody want to come tell us the parts of the saddle? Sure, come on, Jenny, we'll, we'll all help you. Okay, good. When you put it on the horse, you actually should be able to see from back to front all the way through there because you don't want anything resting on the horse's spine or on his withers. So that gullet is to distribute the weight onto either side, onto the muscle masses of the horse. Um, if you need to saddle, uh, saddle down and you don't have one of these nice little racks to put it on, you want to set it on its pommel like this because then it does not stretch out the tree or stretch out the leather flap. So if you have to set a saddle on the ground, Western or English, set it on its pommel. Okay? So when I told you last week about uh, girths, this one has elastic on both sides. Can you see anything about this girth that is asymmetrical? Why I would not, why there might be a correct left side and right side. Thing right here. This would go, I would hook this, my saddle's going 
this way, my horse is facing that way. I put this girth on this way with the ring in front because if I was going to attach what's called a martingale or um, a standing martingale or a running martingale, which we don't use here, but this is for your information, this is where it would attach. So it needs to be in the front. 